Hey guys, how we doing? Um, thought I'd go through and uh, give a bit of an update to the KiCad automatic uh, component uh, handler for third-party components that I've been working on for a little while. So it started off being this uh, shell script that just was a small CLI that allowed you to um, play with the symbol cache and footprint cache of a KiCad project to automatically import them. And I was thinking at the time that this was the way forwards, but I actually recognized that what we actually want to do is not, apply, not play around with the cache. And also, when we're importing certain symbols, we don't want to be storing each symbol in its own uh, subdirectory. We want to be handling the symbols as libraries. So for example, if you had an operational amplifier, that would be your library. And then underneath that, you would have each one of the components. So you had a LM358 or a OPA uh, 3200. Um, then you could have that all sorted. So I ended up rewriting it in C++. And by doing that, um, the reason why was that if you want to be able to handle V4 and V6 um, KiCad symbols, you need to be able to convert between the two. So that's where most of my work was, um, taking legacy v4 components, they're the ones that are .lib, and transforming them to KiCad symbols. Um, so yeah, the installation of it's a little bit different. You can clone it, uh, then you make a build directory, CMake, um, and then just make install at the end. Uh, it goes through a little bit more, and there's not as many steps as previously. And it also means that if you have an existing project, you can use this candle tool and it won't interfere with what you already have there. So just to make it a bit easier for, um, for people to adopt it if they've already got projects running. So I'll just run through um, some, some of the things that um, you can do with the candle thing. So once it's installed, you can run candle so if you run it in a directory that doesn't have a KiCad project, it'll say it's not found, and that's a um, that's a safety thing because you don't want to run candle on it um, anywhere other than a KiCad project. So what we can do is go to KiCad, uh, we'll go new project, and here we'll do this in desktop. We'll call it test project. So. If we go and uh, cd into that project and we do what we can do here is do candle, I'll just clear that candle dash capital I, which is init, and then that'll initialize the directory structure within um, that project. So if we have a look at the tree, you can see we've got now a directory components. Uh, external components, 3D models, footprints, resources, symbols, and a temporary folder. So previously you had to put your zip files in that temporary folder, but now you don't have to do that anymore. You can path to that, and then when it unzips them, it'll, it'll always put it in that temporary folder. So let's say, for example, I've got some, uh, some components here. So this is an n-channel uh, MOSFET, so I can download that. KiCad. We'll do version 6 for this one and we'll do version 4 for the next one. So when you download it, you just want to make sure there's no spaces in the name and uh, yeah, just replace the spaces with an underscore or a dash, whatever you want to do there. So now what we can do is we can run candle and we give it the file name. So it's going to be in my downloads and it's going to be this TSM 12 whatever. Um, we also got to give it a library name. So this is going to be what type of component it, component it is. So you can do n channel MOSFET. Um, this, this library is completely up to you and uh, I kind of want to see and just play around with it for a bit like this, but perhaps in the future it might be interesting to have um, set libraries when you initialize the project and then you're just attaching to those libraries. Um, but I don't know yet what what to do there. But if you've got some ideas, then let me know. So anyway, we run that. Uh, it'll extract it, it'll find the models, and it'll also create a new symbol library for us. So what we can do, sorry, I've just got the dog playing in the background. Um, what we can do here is we'll clear that, and we'll do a, a tree. 
And so now you can see our, our directory has gotten much, um, like the number of files in the directory have got much bigger. But mainly, look at here, so we got 3D models, then we got n channel MOSFET, that's our step file. We've got footprints, n channel MOSFET, top pretty. Um, and we've also got symbols with our keycad symbol. And you'll notice that the name of the symbol is n channel MOSFET. So that's a library, and then within that, we have the um, the actual component symbol. So that's all handled by Candle. So if we go to our, um, at our project, uh, at our library, to our eSchema, and we go like that, and then we also want to go just over to here, go to our PCB editor, manage footprint libraries, and this one here we're going to be pointing to the pretty folder. So once that's done, we go back to our symbol editor and we can go n channel MOSFET. And so you see this is our n channel MOSFET here and it's already linked our symbol. So that's handled with candle. So candle will automatically link the symbol to the um, footprint. And uh, we can place that. Um, we save it. You can have a look here at um, not the symbol fields table. We're going to look at the footprint assignment so it's already assigned to the right footprint and all ready to go. So you'll notice that we had to we still had to go through the process of going um, managing our symbol libraries and managing our footprint libraries. Um, but what what's good about it is let's say we had another component and we wanted to get um, for example this here is another n channel MOSFET. We'll get the version four of this one because I want to show you the conversion that happens. And I'll just give that a second to download. That looks all good. Come back over here, so we can do candle file name is going to be downloads, and then the FDC, um, and then the library is going to be n channel, n channel MOSFET. So we just run that. And what it says here is it's converting the legacy file. So it converts it from the .lib to the keycad symbol. And if we clear that now and have a look at our tree again, you'll see that um, this is our temporary folder. That's where everything's unpacked to. So you can always um, go back and access the uh, the un, sort of untampered um, files. But in our main main files here we have now in our n channel MOSFETs we have two step files uh, for our footprints underneath our pretty folder we now have two um, n channel MOSFETs and also our symbols here it's, it's n channel MOSFET but inside that we actually have both the um, both the, Mo the MOSFETs that we just imported so if we go back to KiCad and we wanted to import that other component it's already it's already imported um, it says footprints not found, but it actually is found, so we don't have to worry about that. So if we we click that, so that's imported our component, and if we go to edit, and then you can see here that it actually has our footprint, so we don't even have to worry about that. Um, that's just sort of like a little thing in uh, KiCad, it just doesn't show up yet. And then if we do the footprint assignment tool, you'll see that the, both those footprints have um, already been assigned. And what I was mentioning there about how if we have a look at this file here, this lib file, uh, if we just do cat, um, it's going to be components, extern, temp, um, fdc, fdc, dot lib. So what you see here is this is what the original um, V4 versions look like. Uh, that didn't really help. Um, but what we can do as well is have a look at the converted file. So this is what Candle creates, and that's what's auto automatically imported into, um, into our library. So that's pretty cool. And then finally, I'll just show one more. Uh, example, let's say we wanted to get this op amp, 
we just download it, we select V6, then we can just already, we already know what's going to happen when it downloads. Um, element 358. And it's going to be a library, it's going to be opamp. Then it creates our new symbol library. So if we clear that and just have a look at our tree again, you'll see there's a much more things happening now. So we've got 3D models, end channel MOSFET, op amps. We've got our footprints, which now have an op amp and also um, our end channel MOSFETs are still there. And then in our symbols, we've got op amp and KiCad symbols. So if we go back to KiCad and we want to place that op amp, we have to First of all, manage symbol libraries, symbols, and now we've got op amp. And then just to make sure that um, it sees the footprint as well, we can go over here. Um, we'll go footprints, op amp pretty, and then go back to our keycad file, uh, keycad project. And that's our LM358P. So you'll see that there's um, multiple units that are contained within that as well, which is pretty cool because that's all handled um, inside the. Uh, um, I won't say, let me undo that because I want to actually place all three of them. So that's pretty cool, and if we have a look at our um, symbol assignments, you can see that the op amp is already selected to our footprint, um, and we're already ready to go. So yeah, that's a bit of an overview of what Candle's all about. Um, I think it's going to be really useful um, because I just find that whole process of trying to manage your components really difficult. Um, obviously, there's going to be little bugs and stuff that happen um, because just there's a plethora of components with all different types of um, requirements. But if you do run into a bug, you can always click on issues here and then submit an issue. Um, and yeah, there's information of how to, how to do that if something happens. And uh, yeah, I hope that helps. And uh, have a good evening.